We're going to be watching uh, an ankle brachial index, also known as an ABI. It's a really simple, quick, easy test that we do in our clinic here in the ADC clinic that is a quick screen for something called peripheral artery disease or peripheral vascular disease. So a PAD is an underdiagnosed disease. It affects more than 5% of people over the age of 50. And actually 10 million people in the United States are currently suffering with peripheral artery disease. It's a silent disease, so people usually don't have any warning signs. There are a lot of people at risk. Um, age over 50 is a big risk. Anyone who's diabetic, anyone who smokes or has risk factors such as hypertension, obesity, or a family history of heart disease, or a personal history of heart disease and stroke. People with peripheral artery disease have a higher risk of stroke and heart attack. And it's very important to put these people on effective medical treatments and exercise and walking programs. This is a very quick, simple, easy test that can be done in the primary care office. They put blood pressure cuffs on both arms and measure the blood pressure in both arms. And then they put blood pressure cuffs around the ankles and measure the blood pressure around the ankles. And the <coughs> ABI is just a ratio. The blood pressure in the legs should roughly be equal to the blood pressure in the arms. So the ratio should be one. So a normal test is one. So anything above or below that to a certain extent is abnormal. This test should be done um, on most patients that are experiencing symptoms of uh, leg pain, maybe when they're walking. Ideally, we would like to screen most, most of our patients just to make sure that uh, if there's something that we can do to intervene, then we can catch them early rather than later. Our uh, physician will uh, review the information. If it's showing that there is maybe some abnormality going on in there, we may have our uh, ordering physicians run further tests, uh, such as uh, CT angiograms or MRAs, which are angiograms that will show us more of what the vessels inside the legs or arms look like. Initially, we talk to the patient and find out if they're having any symptoms. If they're not, well, we just treat them with aggressive risk factor modification. So we control the things that we can control, such as high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes. We have them stop smoking. We put them on an exercise program. We talk to them about diet and exercise. It is such a silent disease. It is underdiagnosed. And I think the <clears throat> message we have is to, that we need to start screening people earlier and sooner because it's known that if we pick this up early, we can put the patients on the right medications and prevent a lot of the problems that can happen in the future. Oh, it was easy. No problem whatsoever.